Hi, welcome to Meet Taken. This is Mika, and here at Meet Taken, I talk about all things witchy, craft related, law of attraction, manifesting, esoteric, and everything else in between. And today, I'd like to talk about big spells. And I am drinking some uh, jasmine tea. This is brand Stash. I just got into this, by the way. St yeah, Stash. I don't know if you can see that. I just uh, been picking this up at the market. It's a really uh, not not very pricey at all uh, tea and they have great flavor so I like Yogi and I like all the other kind of fancy teas but come on five six dollars a box where this is more like two three I think so and the flavors just as good and I look at the ingredients and I'm you know uh, impressed with what it is and it actually tastes good so there's something to try but anyway um, big spells so I <laughs> this is a cup of tea moment since I'm not drinking as much alcohol, so <laughs> it was a tea moment, so I thought I'd bring that out to this video. So what are big spells? Big spells are things like the material things, your job, a promotion, house, car, um, money, <laughs> vacation, jewelry. Those are the big spells. And, you know, it could be anything as far as people. So, you know, relationships, breaking up, making up. <laughs> Uh, you know, reconciling children, you know, fertility, you know, pregnant spells, companionship, death spells. And then the non-material stuff, which is, you know, healing, um, healing from physical or mental, emotional issues or, uh, you know, sickness, actual sickness. So um, a mind shift, alchemy, I'm speaking mental alchemy. So you're talking about, you know, removing poverty mentality. Um, changing your mind so that you don't see yourself as a victim all the time because you're seeing you know the effects of it across your life that sort of stuff um, those are big spells because you're talking about making a spell applying the spell and believing a spell where <laughs> you changed your own mind you know that's a big deal so that's why i put it in the category of big spells so these are the big things you know um, the things that not everybody can do we have a lot of people who, you know, you could be practicing for years and maybe you've never tried to do something on the larger scale, on a bigger scale. And what if <laughs> you want to do all of these things at one time or some of these things at once? So you want a house, car, job, not necessarily in that order. <laughs> um, you want, you know, companionship, friendship, relationship, and, you know, healing physically you know because there's some you know physical issues some, some actual scars and things like that you'd like to heal those on your body beauty you know uh on some level i want to say not beauty spells but like um i'm thinking more like scars things like that um not just the glamour we're talking a full-blown can i do a spell to make is there a way for this to really go away so before i go much further if you enjoyed this content, please go ahead and like this video. And um, if you have not already uh, subscribed, please subscribe because it's really helping this channel. And I thank you very much if you already have. And if you do <laughs> right now. But um, I just want to say this. Before I go too far into it, um, it's very easy to create a video and just sort of show you how, you know, I dress a candle. Um, which I don't mind doing, and I'll do those videos, you know, um, how to make certain potions, herbal magic, things like that. Uh, and, and again, I don't have a problem doing that. Actually, I'm going to be doing something in a moment after this video along that, that vein. But it's important for when you're watching those types of videos that that is their magic that they're applying. What's making it unique is their own magical signature, and we all have our own. So the frequency that person's on, the vibration they're on, um, the energy uh, that they, they've been able to pull forth to put into that spell, all of that is part of their magical signature. And we can't all have the same signature. I can do this other woman's other witch's spell and I could watch her YouTube video and I could see everything that she does and it just does, how come it didn't work for me? How come I didn't get the guy? How come I didn't get the house, the car, the jewelry, the money, whatever? You know, how come my, my sickness didn't heal? So there's more to it than that. 
And, you know, that might be a reason why you pay someone else and let them do the work for you because, you know, you've been trying and, and it doesn't work and you want these things. You want a magical boost uh, to get to these, these things or people or situation. Um, so maybe you hire somebody. And I don't think that's necessarily, a, you know, a bad thing or anything like that. I, I do think you have to be careful when employing someone um, to do that type of work for you. And that's a whole other thing <laughs> on um, what you should look for when you're, you know, investing in um, spell work, investing in paying someone to do spell work. But ultimately, just remember it's unique to you. So how you carry about these things, how I do something, you might, it might not resonate with you because, you know, you've pledged yourself to a specific spirit or deity. So the fact that I'm not mentioning something would seem crazy to you. It's like, oh, she's never said, you know, evoke so-and-so. So that spell's not going to work. So, And I completely understand that because if you, if I watched a video and someone was doing that, you know, in, invoking a specific god or, you know, praying to a god of sorts, it would not resonate with me. I would petition certain deities, ancestors. I would petition. I wouldn't pray, invoke, or anything like that. Keep that in mind. All right, so how does one accomplish these big spells? You know, you get you got a spell book that you got off of Amazon, you know, you saw some stuff online, you watched a gang of YouTube videos, and these people seem to be getting by, they seem it's working for them. What what are they doing? Um, again, everybody has their own energy they're bringing. <laughs> And that they're um, releasing, you know, first they have to raise that energy and we're all going to be a little different with that. So keep that in mind. But ultimately, it's the type of spells that matters. Um, what type of spell work are you doing? I'm a spell on spell kind of person. So I typically want to have, it's going to be multi-layered. The bigger the, the thing is that I'm trying to accomplish, the bigger the outcome, the more intertwined spell work there's probably going to be. And then there's going to be some level of alignment, which probably it still includes some form of magical workings um, as well. Case in point. So I like to just give examples and talk in story form is easy for me. I'll give a real life example. Um, car. <laughs> so a few years ago, I had been sharing a car with my daughter. So one of the things uh, that I decided was that I no longer wanted to do that. So first step, decide what you want. I did not want to continue to share my car with my daughter. She needed it most of the time. And when she had the car, she was going all day. She was doing school, work, and it was a thing. So it was important for me to have my own vehicle. All right. So I had expressed this to my husband that I wanted my own vehicle. There's so much noise. The problem was the situation we were in at the time did not make that feasible financially because there were already two cars in rotation <laughs> his car and, and what was my car and now my daughter's taking over she was not in a position she was trying to finish up her last year of college and that's not a great time for her to you know go at it at a full-time job it, it was just you know she was doing too much traveling trying to get back and forth to school it was the whole thing so her trying to purchase her own car wasn't an option and I was a stay-at-home wife so I didn't have any income <laughs> uh, so my husband was you know taking care of all of us so he was doing a great job of that but I now am asking to add one more thing and find money out of nowhere and buy me a car so that it, it, oddly enough that's sort of how it happened so once I made the decision it was you know, I was aware of what I wanted. I am aware of the current situation at the time of the obstacles and what they represented. So, you know, there's a rationality to this. I, I know my situation and then, okay, um, but I want it, you know, this is something I want. So there's the, the strong burning desire regardless. This is important by the way, seems simple, seems like a no brainer, but you've got to look at it and sort of slice up this thing so that you can understand more and that way it makes it more attainable if you believe it you believe you're really going to have it this spell is going to work so i had a multi-layer approach candle magic for sure did candle spells with an s on it uh, because i would do prosperity spells abundance spells and then specifically about the the car so there's that then i would do other types of spells where it was uh basically like um 
if I was cooking something in the kitchen for luck, that type of thing, you know how you throw salt over your shoulder for luck? Well, I would do that and I would be thinking car. So it's like I'm constantly in alignment about it. So I did some candle spells, yes. Um, I petitioned my ancestors for their help for the car. And I'll be honest with you, I w at the time, I wasn't just asking about a car. I had a manifesting list going. So it was a car. I wanted a new mattress because my mattress was killing me. So I wanted a lot of big ticket items all at one time. And um, I forgot what the other things were. I think, um, I mean, I can't even remember. The point is, it was a, it, there were several big ticket items, right? Um, and, and I was starting to manifest the very house that I live in. How could I forget that? So I was in the pro I was gathering my thoughts about that. So I was able to make a manifesting list, which I would suggest you do. Keep that in your grimoire or some sort of magical notebook or, or notebook you reference for your spiritual study. So I had my notebook going with my manifesting list. So whenever I was doing any sort of spell work, I have always had those things in my head. And I know there's this idea that you can't do, or not that you can't, maybe you shouldn't keep doing spells on the same thing, let the first thing work. And I agree, but it depends on what you did on that first spell. I was taking a multi-layered approach. For me, those spells was just raising more energy toward the thing I wanted. So it's not that I had uh, doubt that the first candle spell that I did wouldn't work. I, I took the idea, the, my intention was the more energy I raised, the better. So I was um, just feeding it energy with more spells. And sometimes, uh, and as far as candle magic was concerned, I used different types of candles, not even the same color. It's not like I used the same thing all the time, different messaging as I carved it in, but it was all aligning with ultimately what I wanted on that manifesting list, including this car. So... I did all of that. The other thing, I used sex magic as well because I told you that's a great way to raise energy. Um, basically, and just real quick because I don't want this to turn into something else. Uh, that basically is um, the sexual energy that you raise, you're directing it. So you need to be very in tune with ultimately what you're going to do once you, you're not just having sex and then something happens. No, you're having it and then you direct the energy that you're raising. And once the release occurs, then you are projecting that using your mind, you know, using your third eye, so to speak. Um, you're projecting that energy. It, it's being released. And that energy was gathered with the intention. So you need to have that intention in your mind. You might want to have a special candle burning to keep you focused. Or you might want to already have the petition there. Whatever, however you want to do it. This sort of refocus you in that moment of release to why you're doing this. But for me, I, my mind was strong. My intention was there. So I also use that type of magic. Um, and also visualization. So I had a, a vision board set up as well uh, with these things that I wanted on it, including my car. Now, I was very open to the type of car within a certain reason. I wanted an SUV and I wanted the bells and whistles because the car that I had before, I didn't have all the bells and whistles. I didn't get the leather seats. I didn't do it at the time we had bought it. I said, oh, it's not that important. Well, come to find out, it is important. I wanted the seat warmers, the, the, the sensors, the everything. I wanted all that stuff. I thought, at this point in my life, I'd like to have it. I don't have little kids anymore. I want, you know, the nice stuff. So, all this happens. I do all this type of spell work, and I'm just looking down at my list here to make sure I'm, I'm touching base, yeah. Um, I started on, I went on Pinterest, I created a secret board for myself where um, I was putting types of cars, I was researching um, cars, the type of SUV that I wanted, uh, most likely I had uh, even um, went to go look at a car, look at several cars, and it wasn't coming together at that time, the pricing wasn't going to work, the type of financing, nothing was coming together when I was looking. I did not let that, that discourage me, and I am very grateful that my partner, <laughs> aka my husband, was very in line with my way of doing this, so he was like, yeah, let's go look. Well, we'll find a way. Don't worry about it. So a series of events happened that was totally magically inspired. It started with first my husband's vehicle, um, my, well, now I'm going out of order. Basically, both cars were wrecked, or one car was in an accident, it wasn't a wreck, but it 
it made it through. The other car, his car was totaled, which required him to have to purchase a new car. But it freed up the bandwidth financially to purchase me a car a month later. So that's how I was able to get a car. Sounds like, wait, huh? How does that free up the bandwidth? Because it was magically inspired. And this process took less than a year. It took months that this all started happening. So I think I, I got serious about my manifesting list and I got serious about my, um, not more well, my list, I was serious about the spells, but the list. I want to say I did that more so in the fall and by the early spring, or yeah, by summer, fall of the previous year. And by the summer, I, we got our cars. He got his new car. And I got my new car, and I wanted an SUV. Um, and I got my SUV, SUV. I got a Jeep, and it's got the um, leather seats that I wanted. It's got all the little sensors, and you know, um, the, the steering wheel heat, the, the heat heats up, and the, the seat warmers, and all the other cool stuff. I got like an electrical <laughs> uh, plug in the back. It's like all these little cool stuff that I've always wanted in my vehicles. Um, that uh, I hadn't had before and I had it now. So that was exciting to me and that was a big spell that worked. So a couple things I just wanna kinda go over. Staying in alignment after you do a spell. Notice how I said, okay, first off, I did multiple spells to raise energy, right? So, and to keep emitting that same energy, that same frequency. At no point when I'm doing this do I think the first spell didn't work, just to repeat. At no point am I doubting anything I've already done. To me, I'm adding layers. Also, I knew with 100% certainty I would get my car, even though it didn't look like I would get my car when I was at that dealer, or several, I was at more than one dealer, and, you know, they really, if you, oh my God, car shopping, like, is so annoying, the, what, the process they put you through. It is so annoying. Like, I can't stand the process. I hate the waiting, the, the game play and all that stuff. And, you know, you ask me all these um, questions. I'm just, I'd rather just do everything online. And that was very important to me because it, I was getting frustrated. So along the way, I was really wanting to simplify this process. And I really wanted this to come to me without a fight. I purchased my car online. I purchased everything online. I went, I filled everything out. The car was delivered to me about a, within days, within a week. And my first test drive is when they delivered it. And I liked the way it drove. So I saw, you know, well, I didn't sign, my husband signed it off because uh, he purchased the car for me. So yeah, there you go. So I had the car. I, I got sick of dealing with that. And I knew that was going to be a way of resolving it. And it worked. And my car was newer. I didn't want an old car. <laughs> I didn't want any busted old car with the, all these miles on it. I had had very few miles on my car. It was still practically brand new. Whoever had it barely drove it. Ironically, I have my car and I barely drive it. So, you know, I, I'm a stay-at-home wife. So I don't, um, I'm not gallivanting here and there. I'm not going to work every day. So I don't put a whole lot of miles on my car. I did drive my car from um, Florida to Arizona, though. So that was fun. Fun fact, the car came, was delivered from Arizona. When I looked at the tracking of it, it was delivered from Arizona. And, and, and trust me, I was very aware of that when I realized I was going to Arizona. I was like, well, I'm taking the car back to its home. <laughs> um, and the, you know, these little pieces of synchronicity, and because I don't believe coincidence, all resonated with me throughout the whole, you know, af even after the process and after the spell work. So, Big spells can work. Big spells um, the, for the big things. And I'm just going to keep calling them that because, you know, they're big to a lot of us, right? Um, I have done other bigger, big, <laughs> bigger, big spells. Um, I think I did a video similar to this, but I, I didn't talk about the car. I talked about the house, which is a very big deal. So um, I'm in the process of doing yet another big spell. <laughs> uh, so I should say spells with an S because I'm clearly I'm not doing one thing. And my approach to this is I, um, which you'll see in the next video. So there's, this is like, my next video will basically be showing me uh, doing some planting. Uh, where at the time it's the new moon energy, which is the perfect time. Uh, seasonally speaking, it's spring, it's the perfect time. So 
I'm going to be planting seeds, literally, for the things that I, I want to grow. Um, and as my plant grows, so will, you know, the energy toward the very thing or the outcome that I'm looking for. Um, the other thing I just want to point out, when I was doing all this, this practicing alignment with my spell work, so, you know, there reached a point I didn't do any more spells. You know, I, you know, I told you all the candle magic, um, you know, in between the prosperity spells. So my, in the morning, my coffee, I would be thinking about this and I would say, I would say a little word, something like, you know, my car is coming to me. Um, I would, you know, do visualization as I talked about. I had a Pinterest, secret Pinterest board where I was looking at SUVs in general, getting, you know, just pinning them, looking at the ideas, picturing myself driving it. And I had a vision board of the car type, you know, SUV that I wanted on there. Um, colors and things like that. I want, and it is the color that I wanted. So I did all those sort of things. So I stayed in alignment. Another key thing is keeping it to yourself. Now, while I'm doing all this, I am not telling people anything. I didn't tell anybody anything. I did not tell, uh, I didn't tell my husband that much detail. I just didn't go into a lot of detail about it because I didn't see that it was important. Uh, forgive the beeps, that's my um, door being unlocked. Uh, my daughter's coming in. But anyway, I didn't see And she figured it out. Sorry about that. I didn't see the purpose of going into detail as to, or any detail actually, because I think that spoils it. I, I think that kind of takes away from it. So you don't want to go into details or actually let anybody know what you're working on. Obviously, he knew I wanted a car because I needed him to sign the papers and commit to this thing and cough up some money. So, um, that was off that was an obvious thing so he knew that much but him knowing i wanted the car and i desired the car i didn't have to do any spell work on him because he was already on board he knew this was a strong desire for me and that was enough for him that's the only spell work necessary is he wanted me to have it because he knew how how much i really wanted it okay so you know all of that so keeping it to yourself um quietly knowing 100% this is going to happen quietly, meaning you don't have to go make grand declarations, don't go online, don't um, share information, it's not necessary, keep it to yourself, it's important that you keep it to yourself. Um, scripting, scripting was not something I did then as far as around this the issue with the car and uh, my manifesting list, by the way I got all the things on my list, I should probably tell you that, including the new mattress, but anyway. Um, within the, all of this same period of time is really a crazy time. But anyway, um, so keep it to yourself. It's important that you do that. Scripting, again, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. Scripting is important. Uh, now I understand that um, even more so magically scripting. So you want to have a notebook dedicated, just something that you actually, you know, bless and uh, declare as just for magical scripting. It becomes your magical notebook. As you write in it, the, whatever you write in there becomes true. It becomes your life, uh, becomes your situation. You know, you bring it into reality. So that's pretty, that's a pretty big deal um, doing that. And I see that now. Um, I, I mean, of course I have to wonder, had I done that then, would it have mattered? Would I have gotten it faster? But you know, everything worked, seems to have worked the way it was supposed to. And then um, keeping promises to spirits. If you broker a deal with any sort of spirit, deity, ancestors, whatever the promise was, keep to it. That's part of the staying aligned part of the spell. So during the spell, if you said you would do this, you would do that, do those things. You're not doing those afterwards. Like <laughs> do those things now so that you can, you know, they can show up for you as you petition and request it. So keep promises to those entities out there. That's important. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, um, a little bit more detail, I'll be happy to share. But I have another video coming up very soon where I'll be showing you kind of how I get into the mode of doing big spells. I'll be actually doing something that otherwise would look mundane. It looks like I'm doing just some gardening. but. 
it's well it is gardening but it'll be a little bit more and I'll be breaking it down a little bit more of my mindset when I'm doing these spells uh, just a little bit more layers of detail um, in case you're also kind of in that mode right now where you're like okay I, I need some big stuff to happen in my life so you know this is a good time to get into it so thank you for watching again please like the video if you've enjoyed this content and subscribe if you have not already and if you have subscribed thank you very much i really appreciate it and thank you for watching again this is nika with leaf taken